So we really hope that within two years, given the system capabilities that we have been building in terms of the complexity of our, our, our devices and working really in concert with the high performance computing community, that we'll be able to help our clients achieve quantum advantage. And that really means finding solutions to problems and looking at ways of actually getting uh, results that are cheaper, faster, or more accurate using a quantum computer in conjunction with a classical computer than using a classical computer alone. So we're right here in the Think Lab at our IBM Yorktown Heights uh, Research Lab. Uh, right behind me is actually our state-of-the-art IBM Quantum System 2. And it actually houses three of our most advanced Heron quantum processors. Each one of them has 156 qubits. And it's the most advanced and most powerful quantum computer chips in the world. Uh, in fact, where we are at right now with quantum computing is an extremely exciting period of time in that we're able to now have these quantum devices run quantum circuits beyond what you could actually accurately do using classical brute force comput computation. Now, we call this, we call, we call where we are today actually the period of quantum utility, where we really have the opportunity to leverage quantum computing to really go against the best approximate classical computing methods and find where we can actually uh, uncover quantum advantage. This is all along a roadmap where we will continue to drive value out of the systems that we are building today in terms of the complexity of the problems that we can address on the road with a really concrete path towards realizing fault tolerance by 2029 with our error corrected, uh, fully error corrected systems, Starling in 2029 and then, 20, and, and then Blue Jay in 2033. That comes out through the chip stages into the microwave electronics, which are on the side. So every processor has a rack of microwave electronics that generates those pulses that executes the gate operation. So really I think, you know, everyone is, talking all about AI today these days. And I think the really important message to take home though is that quantum is part of that whole narrative. Computation is what we want to advance and improve as a whole. And that includes classical traditional computing, that includes AI, and that's going to include quantum computing as well. Some really exciting applications areas which we are looking at quantum computing and the in industry really is looking at quantum computing to, to impact are in materials discovery and you know this can obviously encompass areas of uh, drug discovery and uh, uh, better batteries all these di different types of types of things where really the core element though is understanding chemistry better right understanding molecular structure better um, and quantum computing really gives an additional tool to look at parts of that type of chemistry problem that we couldn't look at before. So this quantum computer in the inside, it's colder than the outer space. 
This, this one is not incomplete, it's not as heavy as the I got to This is actually our second generation of controlled electronics. Our third generation is even higher density. 